For the second section of the REST activity, we're going to upload the new JSON file, create a data process shape to split the documents, configure the decision shape to test for a feature movie, and then test the process. Let me demonstrate this here on pages 21 to 25 of the activity guide. First, I'm going to create a new component. So I'll click New. I'm creating a new profile. And I'm naming it iTunes JSON. I'm going to send it to the REST folder and change the profile format to JSON. Click Create. And I'm going to create this via an import. We can see that that JSON profile has been created. So I'll click Save and Close. Now I'm going to come back into the iTunes search operation and change the limit from 1 to 50. This way we'll be able to see different results. Now I'm going to add to the process canvas a data process shape. I want to split the documents using that JSON profile and for the split element I'm going to select array element 1. Click OK and then OK. So I'll connect the HTTP connector to the data process shape and then the data process shape to the decision shape. Now we're going to be processing results here in the decision shape by media type. We're going to be looking for a feature movie. If it's a feature movie, we'll let we will send the documents down the true path. And if it's not a feature movie, we want those results to come down the false path. So here in the decision shape, for the first value, this will be a profile element using our iTunes JSON profile. And the element here will be kind. I'll leave the comparison type to equal to. And for the second value, I'll enter a static value of feature movie. Save the process, and now I'm ready to run a test. So the test completed. Now we'll check the results here on the true path. Choosing any of these documents, we'll see that for kind, it is a feature movie. And if we look at the false path, choosing any one of the documents, we'll see that the kind here is not feature movie. All right, now it's your turn to complete the second section of the REST activity. That's on pages 21 to 25 of the activity guide.